Manchester United have got a few positions that we all know are in desperate need of reinforcements in the summer. And it appears as though a viable alternative to Casemiro is shooting up that list in terms of priority. We have seen what our results look like without uh, a reliable protective barrier in front of the back four. Uh, and this player is capable of not just doing that... But what makes this player a must-get is the fact that he has ability and profile to be able to play both roles of the pivot. Someone that can screen the back four, but also progress the ball up the pitch. He has the ability to be an alternative to Frankie de Jong, but also a quality stand-in for Casemiro. At just 20 years of age, last season, Kone completed the incredible first season in the Bundesliga, earning him praise and labelled as one of the league's most complete midfielders in his second season he isn't slowing down Kone is seen as a jack of all trades and that's not a negative kind of thing he is someone that possesses enough quality on the ball to be a competent offensive threat when the team is in possession and he is an absolute machine when it comes to pressing and winning duels the sort of player when I first saw um, Martinez in the United shirt it was in a friendly and in that friendly he was taking no prisoners and in that friendly I went oh there's a cult hero. And I'm pretty sure that that's what uh, Martinez will leave us when he leaves Manchester United eventually. And I get the same kind of vibes when I look at Kone. I go, mm, yeah, I think that's someone that the fans are going to absolutely love in a United shirt. Physicality is a massive part of his game and you often see him out muscling players and using those long legs um, to win the ball back through tackling. He's someone that drags the team up the pitch via dribbling, but also he's got the ability to win fouls. Very underrated at doing that. He ranks in the 99th percentile for fouls won, which means that people are smashing him and getting done for it. In pressure scenarios, he is able to both dribble and, and win fouls, and he can remove pressure from the team in doing that, and he can allow for resets. He can slow the tempo of the game down and stay in control of what's going on. He ranks in the 99th percentile, for dribbles attempted and succeeded for a midfielder in the top five leagues. That's mad. That's a big start. United require someone that can carry the ball through midfield, someone that is press evasive and someone that is press resistant. And that's why I think that they've chased someone in the Frankie de old sort of mould. Dribbling is a key pass, uh, key facet of what Frankie de Jong brings to a team. Being able to drop deep, collect the ball, jink past one or two and then move the ball into the final third uh, is a profile of a player that I think we really, really lack. His ability to turn around and operate in tight spaces and escape markers with ease um, and mix that with the power that he's got and the long stride allows him to uh, just eliminate defensive lines with ease and push the team forward. There's a real player emerging in this here. Uh, and what, and it's not just all show, because you look at him and you go, all right, yeah, he's doing the nice stuff. But he's also averaging 2.6 tackles and 1.9 dribbles per game this season. Uh, he's better in the tallies of his teammates in both metrics. He's also got um, a big set of skills and he's unquestionably ready for the type of football that's being played by some of the European giants and probably ready for it at Old Trafford as well. We know that he's got the ability to drop deep during a build-up. We know that he loves getting on the ball and trying to dribble into and from that middle third before progressing a ball into a wider area or even trying to play one through down the centre. He is showing signs of improving that dictation of play. That being, This is somewhere where he's going to have to take a, a, a levelling up and a learning period where you start to see him, instead of forcing it, which I don't necessarily think he forces it, but he does look to attack at all times. You want to see him being able to go, actually, give me the ball and sending it out left and right and then receiving it back again and actually slowing the tempo of a game down. His ability to switch play, which he's already got, is a very underrated skill in a midfielder because it isn't just about can he play a 30-yard ball most midfielders can play a 30-yard ball. Are they aware enough to know when to play that 30-yard ball? That's the difference. That's when you spot five or six players of all clustered around the halfway line here. Hey, fine, give me the ball. And then they dosh it over to the other side where there's one player and then the opposition has to squeeze and push over to that side. You've bought yourself a couple of seconds of being in possession. You might have found space. The, the, the when to play the pass is as important as how to play the pass. And I think he's got a little bit of the when to play the pass about him. 
Now, he's said to be valued around about 26.5 million. He's still got two and a half years left to run on his contract. So you can probably double that when United ring. Munch and Gladbach also have the option to extend him by a further year. So you ain't getting him out of there quickly or cheaply at the moment. But what's for sure is the physicality that he exhibits allows him to integrate into a Premier League side like Manchester United easier because he's already played in Bundesliga and League 1 uh, at a young age, coping with the physicality well, and he's still developing, still very young. His speed and his stamina allow him to adapt uh, to the speed of the game, and that can still improve. I think he's going to be one of the best midfielders in Europe in the next few years. This is one that I think is worth taking a punt on. And who better to learn from than Ericsson Casemiro to be that sort of deep lying, dictating, tempo setting midfielder for the next seven or eight years at Manchester United. If you've seen him, if you rate him, if you don't rate him, if you ain't seen him, all your thoughts, all your opinions in the comments below. I'm going to be checking the chat for the next half an hour or so. So get your questions and stuff in there and I'll reply to as many as I can. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.